Right. It doesn't seem like something that should have happened. And I lost my power. God damn it. I mean, and that, that didn't help with the endings. With like, I mean, the re I mean, the game did. Like, when you got past shit like that, and you actually started getting near the end with, like, the giant battles with the Reaper structures, with the Brutes. I admit, the Brutes and shit, like, the addition to those was a little weird. Especially because we never heard of them before that. But, eh, I don't know. That's just, that's just, I guess, a late introduction to something that we should have known about for a while, I guess. I don't know. But, I mean, that's not, I'm, I can't really complain about that as much as I can everything else. Because that was actually, they were actually kind of fun to fight against. Annoying, yes, but it added a bit of difficulty and I'm playing it again on a harder diff- Wow, that just, oh, that did fuck me over, okay. Um. Fucking, fucking, fucking A. Why do you keep glitching out, Mario? Stop it! Okay, we'll just reload here. Save. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Now we made it across. We just had to stop glitching out on the little green pole, and we're fucking, fucking dandy now, aren't we? But I mean, the stuff with the brutes and the banshees. The banshees were annoying as hell. They were creepy as hell, and they just would not shut up. But I mean, the battle on Earth on the end at uh, on the end at the end was good. It was fine. I didn't mind that. It was good to go by. That was actually fucking fun to do. But and even even up to the point like it was right up to the end. That's the problem for me. Like just a huge just. I don't even know how to explain it, like, they shit themselves at the end, literally, with the story, just completely. Because it was going so well, I mean, everything, I mean, it wasn't going well as like, yep, everything's going perfect here on Earth, I mean, it was going so well as in, like, well written, well done, like, I mean, okay, the fucking Alusa man shooting himself was a little bit too similar to what you did to Sarah, and if you went the Paragon route, which I did, so not only did I make fucking Siren shoot himself in the fucking head, I made the Elusive Man. It's like, a Reaper indoctrination doesn't have anything to Commander Shepard's ability to persuade you to kill yourself, apparently. Good lord, he could go into a suicide hotline and just literally be the guy that makes everyone go commit suicide. Oh dear god, this is gonna be terrible. This is gonna be terrible. This is gonna be terrible! Oh! Why? Okay then, there we go. Not even gonna wait around to do that. But no, I mean, I mean, up uh, that that was fine. But when the kid came, the kid, I I had a problem with the kid the entire time. The, like the from the moment you see, okay, maybe at first when you saw him, I cannot believe I didn't get hit there. Um, when you first saw him, it were I I really didn't have much of a problem with it because it's like, oh man, we're leaving this kid behind and then he dies. That's pretty bad. And I joked about it at first because I didn't think it was gonna be that big of an issue, but. Then the kid comes back in his dreams. And then... The kid comes back as the in another dream. And then another. And then the kid is the fucking catalyst of the Citadel. Like, they missed a... I just feel like they missed a big opportunity to just... Like, I don't get the point of the kid. What? Why? Does he really put that much of a stress on Shepard's goddamn subconscious? That he sees the catalyst. The, I mean, I'm assuming the catalyst takes the fucking form of something that worries or stresses fucking Shepard, and that's the one. But I mean, couldn't. I don't know. I don't know. I, I figured that if it was gonna be like that, if the cat. It, it feels like they added the kid in for no good reason. Okay, that's uh, kind of cool. One, two, three, four. All right. I can't believe I got that many because I'm just bitching. But like, it just feels like they could have just instead of having the kid hunting Shepard, they could have had his dead squad mates like Jack and Jack boarded all of them. All of them who could have died, and if they did die, they'd be hunting him in his dreams because it was usually after one died that he had the nightmares. And instead of I didn't see that because I'm bitching. Um, 
and instead of having a kid that has no relevance to the story and no one feels I haven't met a single person like me, like Naluri, none of us had, like, not even my friend Lad that I did some of the Mario Kart stuff with, like, none of us feels any sympathy for the goddamn kid, because we just don't know the goddamn kid, I mean, he just has no bearing on the story for us, and it just, it's like it doesn't even matter. So it's like, what the fuck is the point? No one feels anything for him, so what? what's the point of having him there? It's like a useless character. And in gaming, and in storytelling, that is something you want to drastically avoid. That's something I know in writing that you want to avoid. is just a useless character who no one feels any sympathy for that you are trying to make them feel sympathy for. It's like adding in a character, like... It'd be like if Hermione wasn't in the Harry Potter books, and in the last book she was added as a character. And then everybody's like, seem like they know her, but the right, the, the like the reader just like is like, what, who, huh, who the fuck is she? And then and, then, and they just kept going like it was natural, and that's almost what it feels like they've done here. Is like they just added a character in for shits and giggles, but they wanted us to feel for the feel for them, but we don't even know who they are, why they're important, and they try to establish a good why, but. It doesn't make any sense, especially considering some of the other shit that happens in the story that could be a much better substitute for said why, but they don't do because they're, I guess they're fucking retarded. Maybe I just, maybe I, okay, that might be, this might be why I don't write in Bioware then, I don't know. Maybe I just don't understand good storytelling. And maybe the kid has some really, like, sophisticated linguistic and, like... I, I don't know, a really artsy farty reason for existing that a, a muggle, a muggle writer like me would never understand. So there's no point in me even attempting to. That's I don't I don't buy that. I spawn and get it, get rid of it. No. Yay! Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Now we'll just wait now. God damn it. Okay. Go away. Maybe, uh, like I said, maybe I'm just a uh, terrible writer and I don't understand the point. And maybe, maybe this is why Bioware would never hire hire anyone like me because I don't know the finer points of literary arts. And adding a character like that in at the last minute that nobody feels any sympathy for and just it's a complete waste and just an annoyance to the players. Is actually a legitimate thing, and I and I just I just don't even know. But it's, I mean, it, even the writing style, as far as like information and stuff goes, it seems to have really dipped from the first game. And I don't know where that comes from. If that's a problem from Bioware or the fact that they got in with EA recently, but I, it it it's not doing them good. I'll give them that. Their their quality has drastically decreased and maybe I'm just bitching too much and I should just be happy that they made a fucking game and didn't actually wait eight years like Valve does but at least I might have to wait eight years for a goddamn Valve game but I know it's gonna be good I don't think I've ever really been disappointed in a fucking I don't think I was ever disappointed in waiting for a game from Valve like I mean I never waited for the Half-Life game so I, I can't really say that because I never really played them they, it's not that they were before my time or after my time, but they just didn't interest me when they came out, so I never got into it, so I never really had to worry about them coming out, and maybe if I would, and there's that, but I don't know. Fuck it, just run, just run, and invincibility frames go. But it just, it almost feels, I mean, they did good, they had parts where they did fantastic, and why do I have that? Why do I have this? That's why. Something's coming out, something's coming out! Oh no! No! Fuck. Whatever. I'll just throw that up there. I don't think I need to go up there, so... That's just coins in a thwomp, apparently. There we go. But, I don't know. I just think, I just think they, they, they just failed on a very simple level on something that they shouldn't have. 
And considering how good they've done in the past, it just it's, it feels bad, man. And maybe I'm just an un unhappy just fan, and I just my point is not really valid, but I don't know. Invincibility frames go. Fuck it. I was trying to be patient with that, but between talking and not really giving a fuck, it's hard. It's very hard. Very hard indeed. Rock solid, you might say. Why the hell are we outside? Why is it all glowing yellow? This is terrible. It's like people who make houses out of gold in Minecraft. I know, I know it's useless, but it's a terrible looking color. I'm just, I'm not a fan of yellow, by the way. I don't like the color yellow. Which is weird, because I like the color red. A lot. So, uh, whatever. And orange. I like orange. And black. And white. And green. But definitely never blue. I don't like yellow. But my god, blue gives me a headache. I hate the color blue. And trust me, I've been given reasons in the past before to really like the color blue. And I've never, never been able to get a good justification for liking the goddamn color. I don't even know why I jumped right there. I don't even know what I'm doing. Stop it. Stop being stupid, pet. Stop being stupid. Son of a bitch. I don't even know. Okay, okay there we go. There we go. Now we're out of there. I mean, I get, I'll give it this. It would have been very hard to come up with a, a a lot of scenarios for all the different possible ways it could end based on your choices. But you don't say you're going to make a game like that and then don't fall through at the end and make fall. It feels like it feels like the same disappointment I had with Spore. Like it's like. You get this wide open everything, and I mean, it, it didn't have a lot of wide open, it was very good, it was very well made, but at the end of the day, it's A, nothing like what it said it is, and it's actually very shallow, as far as, you know, actual gameplay goes. I mean, it's got a lot you can do, but it's not a lot you'd actually want to do over and over, like the first time you play it. I guarantee you, you never want to do the tribal stage again in Spore. I mean, if you liked it, sure, but it's just very... It was a very unfun stage, and while it was fun, it's not what you really came for. Anybody who wanted to play Spore, anybody who had heard of Spore, anybody looking forward to Spore, was looking forward to the Space Age. I don't even know why I'm trying to get that. I don't even, I don't even like collecting the coins. I mean, and that's what that's what it was. I mean, you were looking forward to one thing. You were looking for, and it's the same with like Mass Effect. Like, you didn't really come for the combat. I mean, the combat's okay. Don't get me wrong, but you come for the choices and the story, and that was lacking in this one. Whether it's because he better not hit me. He better not hit me. He better not. Hit. Fuck! I made it. Oh my god! I can't believe it. I'm gonna kill him. I want to kill. I, you know what? Fuck you. You're an asshole. Trying to kill me like that. It's uncool, bro. It's not cool. It's not too cool for school. Trust me. I know, I'm Pat. Pat is a cool kid. And that's the joke. Har har. I, 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 just... They, add, they added a lot. I'll give them that. And they did well. I mean, the multiplayer is really nice. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I like the multiplayer a fair bit, but... It's not what we came for. It's not what we wanted. It's not what people wanted. And it's not just me. I mean, a lot of people were upset. If a lot of people weren't upset, they wouldn't be changing the endings. So, it's not just me on this one. It's a lot of people. But it doesn't have to be a lot of people for me to be pissed off about it. I'd be pissed off about it whether it was just me or another person or several hundred thousand people. Which, as the case may be, it seems to be that. I notice a lot of people say that, like, they're like, ugh, you just don't know anything about art, and, like, they, they complain about the people complaining, but it's like, I don't think people who do that don't really understand why people are mad about this, and that's what I, that's what I was trying to explain with the Spore thing, is like, the game is good, there's a lot to it, but the main reason anyone's there, the story, 
is completely busted and it's just gone. Just like in Spore, how we all were looking forward to the space stage, and the space stage was very shallow and pedantic and was the same bullshit over and over. It was fun, don't get me wrong, but it was a lot of grinding till you got to the point where you had everything, and when you had everything, you realized everything you had really wasn't much. And it didn't help that in Spore either, they removed like 90% of the game because EA said it was too hard, so. And, but that's what it comes down to again, and that's and that's another reason why I'm so glad EA won Worst Company of the uh, Year award, award is because they seem to ruin a lot of good games, a lot of games that have potential, because they, it's just either too hard, it's too time consuming, or they're just lazy fucking pricks, and I hate them. Please don't die. Please don't die. Yes, I am the greatest. I am fucking Luigi. Not fucking Luigi, as in having sex with him, but, uh, I saved there by accident. Come on, come on, come on, yes, yes, yes! I am the greatest! I am the cheese! I am the best character on the show! I am better than baloney. I am better than pumpernickel. Suck it. Eh, I can't even duck under that. Yeah, I'm just, just fucking fucking it up now. Okay, hold on. Let's just go back. There we go. Now we're now we're in the clear. Not really. There we go. There we go. Now we're now we're back on it. I was talking too much and it got me sidetracked. Okay, it, it shouldn't push me off, right? Nope, didn't push me off. There we go. I am, I'm in like such a bad position. This is awful. Okay. Maybe if I can stay up here. Why did I, why did I not jump off that? Ugh. Okay then. Okay then, now I think why well, we got it. Whew, that was bad. That was just me being bad. Ah, oh, not this again. Not this again, not this again, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, yes, yes, made it, no! It just, it seems like in Mass Effect, the meat of the game that people came for, the story is just not up to par. I mean, it, it had its moments, yes, but a lot of the moments that were really good weren't really the reasons people came. But just little extra things like that were really amazing. Like I will admit openly that I really liked a lot of the portions of the game. I liked a lot of, I mean, it did have story segments where it was really good. It was really well well written. But at the end, it's just it cannot hold a candle to what was said was going to come out, or what they had proven proven to be able to do in the past, like with the original. And that's what it, that's what it comes down to for a lot of people is it, it's not as good as the original. The second one, the second one wasn't as good as the original, true, but it wasn't this, like, bad. Not when it, not at the end of the day, it wasn't what people wanted, and that, not really, nor was it fantastic, and I keep thinking he's gonna keep coming over here, but he doesn't, so I'm like, I'm gonna jump off him. He is so unpredictable, I swear, I just, just, uh, fuck it, I'm just not even gonna, not even gonna try. Oh, keep wanting to jump off. I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. Wait. Ah, and I still hit him. Something I kind of didn't want to do at the end of the day, but no, whatever. I mean, I've been looking. F I don't know. Now, now it's just getting into me repeating myself. And I don't even know why. Why I'm doing half. I'm failing a lot because I'm not really paying attention because I'm talking a lot. And that's kind of my bad, but still. Also, I hate those masks. They're not scary, but it, it's it's the same re it's the same way I don't like the uh, Guardian in Half Life Two Episode Two. Is it just it just just comes at you, man? It just just charges at you, and it just does not care about your feelings. It just wants to hurt you. It wants to rape your soul, and it just doesn't care. It doesn't care about you. It doesn't care about you. It doesn't. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to love you. It doesn't want to cuddle you afterwards. It just wants to hurt you. And that's just awful. You gotta cuddle afterwards. 
I'm just... I, I think I might be too tall for this. No, I'm not. Yeah, I guess I was, because I dug down and I got through it just fine. But, point still being, point still being, because this is where we're going to leave it off. Ending from Mass Effect sucked. I'm sad to say it sucked, but they're going to fix it, and if they make it a DLC, I can guarantee you the piracy rate on the DLC is going to be astronomical. Like you wouldn't believe. And, the water thing is breaking through. I did not want to do that. Which I will be getting into in about two months, like I said. From yesterday. It's going to be... July 13th, if I remember. So that should be... That should be good. I think that's actually three months. Ugh. Uh, what, whatever. I, I, I forgot. Anyway, so I hope everybody enjoyed watching Luigi's Adventure. Remember, if you have any Mario hacks you'd like me to play, just send me a message here on YouTube. Get, get a hold of me on Steam. Put it in the comments. Do whatever you want to get it out there. And I'll look into it. So I hope everybody enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have fun, everybody.